Welcome. Well, I floated up to the gates, and guess what? They're full. They said, come back tomorrow. So I guess I've got a bit more time to make another video. <sighs> anyway, here's an idea I was thinking about, and it doesn't pertain to everywhere in the world, especially United States, in some areas maybe, but mostly pertains to, say, small countries like the UK, uh, France, um, I think the problem is also in Asia as well. And when I'm talking about the UK, I'm talking about mostly the south coast of the UK. At least that's what I see, and probably London too. And it's the amount of vehicles on the road. It's just congestion everywhere. Why is there so many cars on the road? And people are going, well, it's because there's more people now. Sort of, I think. Because the car or the combustion engine is, is one of the main causes of pollution, whether people like it or not. Now, I do love my vehicles, especially V8 trucks, big block. You know what I'm talking about here, guys, right? But let me talk about the UK first. And there are so many vehicles in the area I'm in. You can't walk the street without them being lined up both sides of the street, on the curbs, everywhere. There's just far too many vehicles for a small place like this. And why is there so many vehicles? Because the government makes it easy to get vehicles. They actually help you get vehicles. Why do they do that? It's a polluter. Because they make money off of vehicles, don't they? They make money where it's made, if it's made in that country. They make money when it gets sold. And now they have an owner, which is a driving ATM machine for the government. Because now they can say, we want some road tax, we want you to pay for MOT. They get kickbacks from all of those things. And then they get the police, which is now just an extension of the government nowadays, to be able to fine people for all sorts of offences. And they make them up as they go along. And it's a really good money maker. In fact, they've just put up the buckle up fine to an exorbitant price. Why? Because people actually are buckling up now. And they're not getting so many people who haven't buckled up. So they have to put the price up to get more money. There's no reason to put the price up, is there? I don't think. So I think most of the reason why we have so many vehicles on the road is because the government makes so much money from them. They could limit one car per family, but they don't. They have the female has a car now, the male has a car, the son has a car, the daughter has a car, and they all park outside their houses where there's no real room. Of course, there's a lot of places in America where you don't have this problem because of the space. And the same is in Canada. There's plenty of space at the moment to park all these vehicles. But if you take a look at France, it's the same. Vehicles are everywhere. It's just a mess. Asia is the same. Now, I lived up in Chiang Mai for, say, eight or so years, and the traffic up there was a continuous, basically, loop that went for 24 hours. And to get across the street, there was no real gap. So it's just continuously driving around. And they suffer from smog up in Chiang Mai a lot of times. And a lot of times, people wear masks up there. So don't tell me the vehicle doesn't cause pollution. But the governments look past that because they make so much damn money on vehicles. All its life, the vehicle is making money for the government. I have a vehicle, of course, but I'm thinking of getting rid of it. Because you can't really park it anywhere, and when you do go to park it somewhere, it costs so much. And you have to drive around to find a parking space. It's just a real added stress thing you don't need. Now, public transport in the UK, especially in the South Coast, is not all that good. It's just too damn expensive. They want people to use the transport, but the prices are so high, people just don't. There's a lot of people that have a lot of health issues that are basically because of the air quality in the area you live in. But the government won't tell you that, because that is a secret. Anyway, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, like I say, I lived in Canada, they have no problems usually there 
with vehicles because they have the space. We're talking about these smaller countries, you know. Anyway, something else I was looking at, and I'll put a link below to it. And what do you think of that? Of that sort of uh, new lifestyle? I don't know. Are you replacing one rules just for another rule set of rules? I don't know. Especially when you have to give all your money up. Take a look at the link. It's not a cult. So they say.